Hi, welcome back to Diesel Talk. My name is Tony Salas here to talk to you about a quick Power Stroke 6 7 diagnostic. In this case, we're going to look at a 6 7 quickie diagnostic here, get our computer going up and running. And in this case, we got a case study on the 2014 6.7. This one's simple, easy. And in this case, you're going to see that the vehicle was towed in, no power. And it actually was used to haul a gooseneck trailer. It does not go over 10 miles per hour, it goes into derate. In other words, the vehicle is in bad derate condition. Uh, we find, you know, and this is why basic diagnostics is so important. We find that the air cleaner is dirty. And in this case, we can see that from the picture that the uh, air filter is just totally plugged. It was not allowing the engine to breathe much air. But then, you know, we also decided to see the effects on the after treatment system, which is the diesel oxidation catalyst and the diesel particulate filter. So what we did also is we uncorked the exhaust like I've been talking about in other training sessions. We uncorked the exhaust and allowed the engine to run free breathe without any exhaust because we wanna see when you uncork the exhaust, what's going on with the engine because an after treatment system will hide uh, heavy soot or heavy fueling or in other words, black smoke, white smoke, gray smoke, blue smoke, whatever smoke you got, it'll show it. And that's what we ran the engine with the air filter and it ran great. So in this case, a funny thing that we saw, and then I'll play the video here, we, we saw in the, uh, uh, the pr pretty much the vehicle is that I never saw a message saying stop safely now. As you can see there, it wasn't reduced engine power, but it actually was telling to stop safely now because the exhaust was just totally plugged. The engine was running very, very, very sluggish. Another thing to keep in mind, is that when we played on IDS scan tool, we were observing the diagnostic trouble codes. You're gonna see we had a fuel rail pressure low input, which was the PO192, as you can see there on the right. But then we had other codes that were pretty much being caused by the actual uh, restricted air filter, restricted exhaust. We saw cell number, number one, cell number six. We saw a whole bunch more, along with obviously an underboost condition because again, the engine couldn't breathe or couldn't exhaust. So that would definitely get that. And there's the P1548, which was the air filter restriction and the DPF issues that were caused by, again, it being clogged. So in other words, with no air coming in, there was major fuel going in. So therefore it was going to suit heavily the DPF and that's what we see there. So we had a bunch of pending codes and uh, that were still also going to happen. But again, the list is long that we see there. Now, the thing is, the one that you may have noticed at the beginning was the fuel rail pressure um, that we see, the fuel rail pressure code. Keep that in mind, because if the engine is running very sluggish, what's going to happen to fuel rail pressure? Keep that in mind. So we removed the DOC and the DPF. Here we're just showing the tool that we use to hold the bungle when you remove the sensors, because we had to send it out for cleaning. But the total repair was... The DPF DLC along with the SCR had to be sent out to be cleaned. It was cleaned, it was salvageable, thank goodness, because we have a vendor that actually uses ultrasonic cleaning along with the blower and the cooker too, or the oven, some people call it. And we changed the oil and filter, clear the codes. Now, when we finally put it all together, in other words, fresh air filter, clean DPF, change the oil, uh, vehicle was not in D-rate, but it was requesting a drive to clean message. So I've seen people talk about this online, where they say that, you know, you got to go ahead and uh, pretty much, uh, you know, you can't get rid of that drive to clean message. No, you got to drive the vehicle. Now, it wasn't in D-rate, so go drive it. And in this case, the computer has to make the decision whether or not the uh, uh, pretty much the exhaust is cleaned at this point. Let the DPS, along with the mass airflow sensor, in other words, a differential pressure sensor in the mass airflow, determine that the exhaust is no longer restricted, which would indicate a clogged diesel particulate filter. So drove it for about 20 miles, yes, 20 miles, and the message all cleared and everything back to normal, no codes were there. So the moral of the story is, obviously check the basics, that's why don't just scrap, jump into a scan tool because I resent instructors, and you know who you are, I resent when you're saying, hey, connect the scan tool, no. You need to make it a habit to open that hood and check the basics, and clearly we can see here, the air filter was telling us the whole story here. That's why in training, and not just, my training, but corporate training too as well, dictates you should always open the hood and do some basic checks on air filter, along with batteries, along with fuel, you know, fuel filters. Those are things you need to inspect along with safety items such as a belt. So 
In this case, the air filter was plugged, which in turn caused major overfueling, which clogged the DPF, and in turn, we got lucky. We got it all clean. So quick tip to keep in mind. So hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something from this quick tip. And we hope to see you again in another one. Thanks for watching.